Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is a Windows 8 tip. Uh, I actually deployed Windows 8 to one of my users today, and I completely forgot to install IIS uh, services on their machine. Now, IIS basically means uh, Internet Information Services. He's a web developer, so there's one of the tools that he really needs to do his testing before he actually publish it live. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Now, Windows 8 has everything hidden. So it's one of those things that you need to look around, figure it out, but I'm going to show you guys how to get it up and running real quick. No. So the first thing you want to do is do a Windows R. Uh, let me get into my virtual machine, Windows R. And you want to do is app wiz.cpl control panel, in other words. And you want to get into turn windows features on and off. And then from there, once it populates, uh, there's an option that says Internet Information Services. You want to check that off, expand it, and by default, it checks off the web management tools and also the World Wide Web services. So if um, if you need anything else, go inside these folders, check what you need. Uh, basically, the web developer in my office just needed the basic stuff, so he was good to go. Once you do that, press OK. Windows A is going to start installing all the required files. Uh, if you want to take the proactive approach, you can basically restart the Windows 8 machine, and that's it. You're good to go. Uh, you go if you want to make sure that your IIS um, services are running properly. You can open up your browser and just type in, I believe, localhost, and that's about it. Uh, let's see if this guy goes through, and we can do a reboot. Go oh, see now it needs to restart. I'm gonna restart it. It's a virtual machine. I'm not really running too much on it, so it should be pretty quick. Again, uh, it's one of these things that for web developers, especially those that are using ASP.NET and developing uh, websites with. So once it's done and rebooting, you want to log in. And once you log in, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the services is running with no problem and the best way to do that is to open up your local browser which I'm gonna go to my desktop and gonna open up my IE and just type in localhost and see if you get that nice IIS web page startup web page so local Local host. Hit enter. And there we go. It took a while, but it's there. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.